Hey everybody, it's Amelia, obviously. So today I'm doing a quick review video. The products that I'm going to be reviewing are the Rick Baker MAC Makeup Collection. Now if you don't know who Rick Baker is, I suggest you stop this video and you go and Google his name and see what you find. I bet you'll be amazed. He's incredible, incredible makeup artist. So before you watch this, go check that out. Um, if you know who Rick Baker is, then um, awesome. I'm going to be reviewing um, some of the makeup that he has um, in the collection with MAC. Now, I already have some of the pieces, like previous to the collection coming out. Um, so some of the pieces that I have that are in the collection that I had before are the White Chroma Cake, um, MAC's Face and Body Foundation in white. What else? Um, I also have, I just used it. Um, Max Current Lip Liner, um, and the black acrylic paint, and lastly, the white paint stick. So those are all pieces of the collection that I have um, previous to the collection being released. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this mixing medium that he has come out. Um, it's called Monster FX Tinted Mixing Medium in the color Dirt. This is like a yellow, brown, orangey, um, brown color. This would be great to mix with like your chroma cake or even like, you know, if you have your paint stick or something like that to mix a little bit of that together. Or even I'm sure you can mix the white face and body with this and you get um, kind of like an off white. Now last night I mixed it with um, my True Chartreuse Chroma Cake and it came out like a pea soup kind of color. It was really cool. It, was, it had like, it really, what it really does is it warms things up a little bit. So it really warmed up the white, it warmed up the green, um, almost gave it like a little more of like an orangey hue to it, you know, hence the pea soup thing. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I think this is going to be fun you know, doing like more special effects stuff, more zombie stuff, and I actually know what I'm going to use this for. So, that's awesome. Okay, then the next thing I got was this acrylic paint. It's um, in basic red. Um, the other, um, there are two other colors that um, are in the collection. There's pure white and then a green color. I'm not sure, it might just be called green. I don't know. But um, those are the other two that are in the collection. Um, as I said previously, I already have the black, so now I have black and red. And I really like this acrylic paint. Um, I've been using it a lot for liner instead of using a pencil or a shadow um, or even my gel liner. Um, I really like this stuff. And um, I'm going to be using this in the tutorial coming up. I don't know when else I'll use it. I know red is supposed to be kind of big for like fall and winter. Um, like eye makeup, but I'm not sure. I don't think they mean like red red. Who knows? Could be kind of Christmassy though if you use it as a liner and put red glitter over it. But this is for Halloween. Christmassy. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about um, is the chromographic pencils. Um, now the pencils, I only got one. The pencils that are in the collection are um, pure white, high def cyan and black and the reason I got black is because quite frankly I'm just out of my black eyeliner so I figured hey why don't I try it and I have it on today and so far so good so far I like it um, it's just a really pure black color these are really soft which I like it makes it easy for for blending and I actually used like I said earlier I usually I've been using the um, acrylic paint I didn't do that today because I wanted to try this out so I put this on my upper uh, lash line and in my waterline seems to be staying well and it blends really nicely as well. So I really like that. Then um, the next thing I got was a lip liner. I got a lip liner in brick. Now there are two lip liners in the collection, current lip liner and brick lip liner. The website describes brick as an intense golden red. And I have to agree with them. It is pretty intense. It is pretty bright. Um, I think I know what he used this for um, in one of the tutorials. Um, there are some tutorials, well not tutorials, I, I guess I really can't call them tutorials that they have, that Mac has online, but they shot Rick Baker doing makeup and I think I know what he uses for other than a lip liner. I mean really these pencils, I think you could probably use them for anything. I don't know if you're supposed to, I don't know if like, I'm sure the ingredients are a little different so you might want to be careful putting it around your eyes. Um, but um, I think this is a really nice color. This would go really well with my Viva Glam lipstick, which I can't find. 
I used it once, loved it, now I can't find it, so that's awesome. Let me just swatch code for you too. It currents like a really purpley red, like a burgundy red. I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Love that. Okay, so now let's move on to the lipstick. I have a lipstick on. The lipstick is called Cyber Lipstick. It is a satin finish. Um, it's a really deep eggplant color. I like it. I think it goes on really smoothly. It feels really nice. I think it's a beautiful color. I'm really excited about this. I love purple lipsticks. So really, you can't go wrong with me. So that's part of the collection as well. I think that's the only lipstick that's available in the collection. Um, let's see. What else? Okay, the last thing that I got from the collection um, are the two eyeshadow palettes. There is a Monsters Bride palette and the Spider Queen palette. I'll, um, I'll do the, um, the Monsters Bride palette first. This is the Monsters Bride palette. You get six colors, which I really like. A lot of these colors I have already, but I kind of kind of like them all together like that because then I can kind of get different ideas of matching colors up. I tend to separate my eyeshadows, um, you know, like I'll put all the purple eyeshadows together, all the green eyeshadows together, all the brown eyeshadows together. So by putting them together like this, it kind of makes me think outside the box and think, oh, well, I can put this color with that color, you know, and kind of mix it up like that. So the colors that you get are Mylar, Omega, Bitter, Club, Brune and Carbon Eyeshadow. Um, yeah, these are all great eyeshadows. I have a majority of these eyeshadows. The only one I think I don't have is Bitter, which I really like. I'm very excited about that. Just a really bright chartreuse green color. I really, really like that. And then the next palette I got, I actually am wearing all of the colors from this palette today. Go figure. So the next palette is my absolute favorite. It is the Spider Queen palette. I absolutely love this palette. Now some of the colors in this palette are limited edition. Um, let's see, the colors that you get are Lime, Moss, um, Deep Purple, Indian Ink, Dusty Purple, and Carbon. Now the colors that are limited are Moss, Deep Purple, and Dusty Purple. Um, I am in love with this Moss color. If they were to put that in the permanent collection, I'd probably buy. I don't know, I really love that color. I think it's so, so beautiful. Um, all of them are really great. I think they blend really nicely. I think there's a lot of uh, nice payoff with them. Yeah, I really, really love this palette. I was This is the palette that I was really looking forward to getting. Uh, so that is um, the Spider Queen palette. Now, other things that are in the collection that I didn't get are the penultimate eye pen, <coughs> the eyeliner pen, and that comes in black. Um, there's a setting powder that's in the collection, and what else is in the collection that I didn't get? Some of the acrylic paints, some of the eye pencils. And I think that's it. I think those are the only things I didn't get out of this collection. But like I said, the stuff, a lot of the stuff that was in the collection are permanent pieces of the collection, so you can get them at any time. The only pieces that were um, limited edition are the um, the Monster FX Mixing Medium and Dirt, and then um, some three of the eyeshadows from the Spider Queen palette. Those are the only pieces that are limited edition. If I were to say um, like what I think you should get most of all, I would definitely go with the Spider Queen palette. They're a little pricey, they're $44 each, but I mean, you can't beat these colors. You know, if you want like really bright, uh, really fun colors, this is the way to go. Um, and mainly because, you know, the colors are, are limited. You want to get your hands on them. Um, the rest of them, I mean, you know, like I said, all of the colors in this palette, they're all permanent pieces of the collection. So you can um, buy them separately over time. Um, I mean, I know, like I said, I already have some of these pieces. So, so anyways, that is the Rick Baker makeup collection. Um, if you guys haven't seen videos um, that they've done for the looks that he came up with, for the collection. I'll put links down in the description to them. There are three looks. There is a, a Day of the Dead look, um, The Bride of Frankenstein, which um, the model is Micheline Pitt, 
for um, that look and she looks absolutely amazing and then there's a zombie monster look kind of twisted nose and really really awesome I haven't seen a video for that come out yet I'm, I'm hoping for that soon so um, when that comes out I'll put it in the description box so yeah all in all I really really like this collection I think it's great I think it's um, I think it's awesome that they came out with a collection right like near Halloween and with videos too that you can kind of see how to do them in case you're kind of like I don't really know what I want to do for Halloween um, and I think it's it's great too because some of these products I mean you know the acrylic paint you're if you're not into like more special effects makeup I'm sure you look at it and go I will never use that what am I gonna use that for so it's really great that they put this collection together so you can see how to use some of that stuff to get more ideas for Halloween or if you're just kind of breaking into special effects makeup kind of like I'm doing I'm, I'm trying to weasel my way into that and figure things out this is great because then you can kind of play with things and see how it works and you know like shadowing and highlighting and, um, and the videos are great because you really get to see him work I mean you don't get to see him work completely but or you don't get to see him do the, the full look but you can you see him do little bits and pieces of it and you kind of go oh that's how he did it and I think that's really really awesome um, so yeah all in all I'm really pleased with this collection um, I think it was well put together it was well thought out um, I just I love Rick Baker and I love the work that he does so really you couldn't go wrong with me and Rick Baker and Mac that's a nice little equation there. I like that. That's good. So anyways, um, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope you guys like some of the stuff. Comment down below and let me know if you have anything from the Rick Baker Mac collection that you like. Let me know what your favorite piece is. Also, um, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see um, a tutorial for this makeup look. I know I've been doing, I've been filming um, some Halloween makeup tutorials. But let me know if you kind of want to see just like a, a Halloween like maybe beauty makeup like this. Um, and I'll come up with something for you guys or I'll just show you how I did this today using the Spider Queen palette. And also let me know if you want to see one for the Monster Bride, Monster Sprite palette. I'll do one for that as well. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope you're having a spooky October. I know I am. My room isn't quite finished yet, but um, I'm getting there. I'm almost done. I have to buy a shelf, which seems to be like the bane of my existence right now. I don't know. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash thehollowqueen. You can also follow me on Instagram, and that, of course, is thehollowqueen. I hope you guys are having a spooky day, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.